With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is, if the magnitude of average speed and average velocity over a time interval are same, all right, magnitude of average speed and average velocity over a time interval are same, then option one, particle must move with zero acceleration. Option two, particle must move with non-zero acceleration. Option three, particle must be at rest. Option four, particle must move in a straight line without turning back. All right. So we have to comment on the options when it is said that average velocity and average speed is same. We know what is average speed. Formula for average speed is total distance, total distance in total time, in total time. And similarly, the formula for average velocity is average velocity is total displacement, total displacement upon total time, upon total time. Now for average velocity and average speed to be equal, displacement should be equal to distance, displacement should be equal to distance. And this is only possible when the particle is moving in straight line. So only necessary condition for the particle to have equal distance, distance equal to displacement will be when the particle is in straight line. So option four is the correct answer. That's all. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.